Okay, pulling apart the power supply. So it's got these strange type of star screws holding in these, um, what I assume are transistors. Let's have a look in the in the iFixit case. What's a good close match? Hmm, nothing really, it's not really a Torx. Hmm, hmm, what's a good match? I don't know. Even get this one out. Maybe I just undo the nut. Maybe I just undo the nut. Mm hmm. Still smells a bit. It's one, one undone. Uh, probably still held on quite well with the um, what should we call it with the paste. But it'll be good, um, good to put some new paste on anyway. After you know, forty years. What nineteen eighty two? It's forty odd years. Okay. And get the washer is in there. So, hmm, bit of a strange one. Okay, There's another little, another little piece as well. Okay, don't lose that one. And okay, so that heat sink is off. Give that a clean. What's the other bit there? I don't want to lose. Yep, okay, that's all the bits. A little tray. Okay. Should we put all these other bits in as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, getting there. So, okay, 
Transform is still held down pretty solidly. The problem with this as well, you've got to be careful that um, when you're, uh, you know, these are obviously screwed into plastic posts that you don't actually crack the plastic. So far, so good. Let me zoom out a bit. There we go. One more. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. That is where the magic smoke came from. <laughs> Good old reefer cap. Okay. <laughs> See? So it wasn't my fault. It was just the reefer cap blowing. Okay, so I might give this a bit of a... bit of a clean to get the gunk out. But yeah, so that's that's the reason reefer cap well and truly blue. Uh, da -da. So I don't know if I can get a replacement for that. Interesting location as well. Um, yeah, so it's really really round, 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 wound, round the um, contacts here but yeah so transform is okay still seems to be working okay but I guess that's just you know it's a uh, protection I guess um, yep so transformer is soldered onto the PCB what have we got here? Uh, 1000 microfarads, 35 volts, 4700 microfarads, 16 volts I, by the looks of it, and a small little 100 microfarad, 35 volt. So I might be able to replace all of those. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll desolder this reefer cap. Um, yeah, point 0.1, what does it say? Point 0.1 microfarad? No, I don't know. 2 times 4,700 picofarads. Oh, okay, X and Y. Okay, I'm not really... Oh, probably. Sorry, can't really see that, can you? So, that's what I've got to try and replace. Let me... Uh, Oh, let me desolder. Let me desolder and have a better look at it. So I got it off with a lot of effort. I basically had to cut the uh, cut the terminals because yeah, it was really really soldered on there. But um, seems to be a combination X class Y class um, safety capacitor. So um, you can see it was connected across um, active and neutral and also connected um, active to ground um, in the middle there. So, yeah, of course, <laughs> do they make these anymore? Who knows? So that is what caused the magic smoke. So yeah, awesome. <laughs> Not only has it got odd voltages, it's um, it's got an odd odd capacitor that needs replacing. Let's see.